Hey y'all, hope you're doing well. Some people ask me from time to time, you know, what do I do? Do I only um, read the Bible on YouTube, et cetera, et cetera? What is my day like? What is my life like? So I decided to take the time today outside of reading the scripture with you guys to kind of talk about my life and what I think about and kind of like what goes on in my head most of the time. So come on, ride with me. Let's talk for a minute, okay? I don't have a proper tripod or something to hold my phone in my car yet. So <laughs> uh, I have something rigged up. But like on a day like today, today is Saturday. Early Saturday morning, it's not even six o'clock. It's 90 degrees by the way. Um, I have a business, uh, you know, outside of the, the, the scripture and all that. I have a startup snack business that I'm uh, just starting. And uh, I get up on the weekends and head out to the, a couple of local farmer's markets and go to the farmer's markets and see if people want to buy my goods. I have peach teas, uh, pre-prepared peach teas, raspberry teas, um, popcorns, different flavored popcorns. It just depends on the season, the flavor of the popcorns, like kettle corn, caramel corn, um, cheddar and caramel mix, stuff like that. Sometimes I have bun cakes, uh, almond bark, uh, salted caramel, things like that. That's what I mainly do on the weekend, so to try to just uh, create an income, but also it's fun. Um, I like doing things, I like building things up, right? So that's one thing that I like to do. So in this very moment, I'm on my way to the gas station. Number one, I need to get some, I need to get some ice for the tea to put into the cooler. And so that's, that's what I'm doing right now. So a typical day is me just literally, I just got in the car, left the house, there's a gas station right up the street. If you guys ever heard me talk about this man named Tito, this is the place where, you know, I've met Tito, the young brother who used to be a preacher, but stuff happened with his marriage and his church and everything, and he kind of walked away from that. So I come here almost every Saturday morning, around about the same time, to uh, get some gas and also uh, get some ice. My dad is a big part of me wanting to be an entrepreneur. My father, um, I found out that my grandmother was an entrepreneur. I found out that um, she was a pretty good businessman based on some of the things that I found out about my family. A lot of people don't talk about a lot of stuff, but that's one thing that I did find out. The entrepreneurship is in my family, so I'm proud of that. Y'all out of ice, huh? Y'all out of ice? Uh, the machine was fixed. Okay. But uh, it looks like it wasn't working this morning, so I plug it in again to see what happened. Is anything in there or is it, everything's out? It's uh, Oh, wow. It's okay. Well, let me go ahead and get a uh, 1509. You think it's something in the is store? 15? 1509 right here. You think it's something in the store or no? Oh, uh, they're close to seven. Okay. All right. Uh, 20 cents off. Uh, not yet. I'll, I'll wait. All right. Appreciate you, Tito. The shirt fit? Yeah. It does? All right. I still talk to the community about you, man. We just waiting on you to say hello, man. Oh, yeah? All right. Hey, I'm filming a video right now. Hey, y'all, I'm talking to Tito right now. So, yeah. hey, y'all, we're going to get him on there one day. All right. He said he saw the video of me hanging out with one of the family. So, all right, man. All right, Appreciate man. you, bro. 
it's real cool y'all the guy I was just telling y'all about tito he's working today at the gas station he told me that he was watching one of the videos that i posted about going out to 10p meeting that family having that dinner that's real cool man Hey y'all, this is Tito. This is the one I've been telling y'all about. He don't want to really talk on camera, he say he camera shot, but I want y'all to know Tito's a real person. And he has a t-shirt business. We might have to help his t-shirt business, y'all. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, I filmed the whole entire video. And I think I have to do it again because my phone kept falling. Crazy stuff. I had this tripod in here that I bought from five, five below or something like that didn't really like it because it's kind of shaky um, the movement of the car but hopefully it's better than what I had before and forgive me if it's not so let me start from the beginning so outside of you know my time in the word with the scripture radio family every day you know I have you know like I said a business and so today I'm on my way to the farmers market so what do I do outside of this beyond the business what where's my day like you know a lot of times when i'm finished with the with the lives for the day i uh i either go in the house sit down and catch my breath or i sit outside for a while so even sometimes when i uh swipe off the live I, i'll sit there especially if it's cool um i'll sit there for a while and just kind of decompress i think about the people on the lives i think about the comments that i've seen um I think about myself, you know, I'm like, God, I hope I please you today. I kind of just wind down because boy, sometimes when you get in the spirit, boy, it can really take you there. So you need some time to kind of like chill out, uh, calm down and um, yeah, just settle in. So if I go inside, well, I, sometimes I, after I calm down, um, when I was doing the book club every day, I'll sit there and I'll read a book. I'll record myself uh, reading one of the books I do that a lot outside but now that it's getting hot sometimes I go inside and I also will do one of the audio books from inside the house in the cool right um, I do that I think about the books think about what I think people need you know what I need to say am I gonna finish this book am I gonna go forward with this book all those things that's what I'm thinking about um, a lot of times during that time I get ideas of what I need to do next what I feel like you know, maybe the community um, would like to hear or see. I don't know. Um, during that time afterwards, I check emails. I'm starting to get a um, handful of emails every day. I'm, I'm thankful because now people are communicating. Um, people are sharing stuff in their day. And so a big part of my day away from the lives and doing videos is, is thinking about people and praying for people. And sometimes giving people little small suggestions if they ask me. You know, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Sometimes you guys have questions that you don't want to ask on the live and you ask me in the email and that's what that's what it's there for, for you to ask me. And nothing is stupid or nothing is ignorant because a lot of us are either getting into Christ for the first time, getting into the word for the first time in our lives, or we're getting refreshed, things that we've forgotten about. Uh, and so that's a big part of my day. Uh, Now, what's happening in my life, uh, I'm going to the gym. So a lot of times afterward, I try to set a time from like six o'clock my time to like 8.30 or nine. That's what I devote to scripture radio. I mean, well, with all my heart. So the live and then also reading the books and doing other things, right? Like I'm talking about, that's a big part of what I do. After that, now uh, I'm going to the gym. I didn't say anything on the live, but I hurt my wrist a couple months back and it's kept me from really doing a lot of the workouts that I'm used to. I love kettlebells, love lifting weights. I enjoy that. I think that if I'm gonna grow spiritually, I also should be growing physically in my body. I should be walking around being all weak. Uh, and so I wanna be strong. I wanna be strong in every way. Every way in my life, I wanna be strong, that God has given me the ability. And so that's a big part of me now. 
So a lot of times I leave the live, go in the house, get some water. Many times I may change out my shoes, put on a different shirt, head out the door, and I'm just taking my time in the gym. Since I haven't been in the gym in about four to five months, now I'm just taking my time getting reacclimated back in the gym. The same way like somebody who's getting reacclimated to Christ. Uh, I'm just taking my time, giving myself a lot of grace. I'm not going in the gym trying to be Mr. Olympia or anything like that. I'm just going in there, number one, to have fun. I want to go in the gym and to enjoy myself. Um, at the same time, um, grow stronger. I'm not eating any sweets right now, no bread, no pasta, nothing like that. Uh, staying away from processed foods. So it's it's been a little challenge, but I know that it's going to pay off big time in the future. The fact that I'm making these, these sacrifices and I'm working on my spirit man as well as I'm working on uh, my physical man. So that's a big part of my, my life right now. The gas station that I stopped at, they didn't have any ice. So I think this is this McDonald's right here. Oh yeah, yeah this is where I go on most Saturdays. I'm going to see uh, if they have any ice, y'all. Last week I went to three different McDonald's and they charged me three different prices on the gas, on the gas, on the ice, which was kind of funny to me. I'm like, y'all, y'all all in the same system, but they had different prices. So this one normally is a pretty inexpensive one. So go get some ice from these guys. Um, yeah, one thing I love about coming to the farmers markets and stuff like this, is I get a chance to meet a lot of cool people. A lot of cool people. A lot of people who want to help me in what I'm doing. Um, when you're starting a business from scratch, man, you don't have you don't have all the connections and the networking and all that. It's, it's great to just meet people. You find out in business, it's not about really who has all the money. It's really about who has the relationships. The relationships that can really make a difference in your life. Who knows how to do what you do. But this is all temporary for me because... You know, the goal for me is to be full time with scripture radio, traveling, meeting people like with the family the other day. That's going to this is going to be that's going to be a big part of my life. Two for five. I'm trying to think if I'm going to fast through my eating time. Am I going to get something this morning? Get some strength. I think I'm going to fast. So I'm, gonna, I'm only going to be out here for like three hours today. So I'm going to skip breakfast today. I think that's the best thing. So. Thank you for choosing McDonald's, Matthew. Hey, may I get three bags of ice, please? Okay, anything else for you? Uh, and a cup of water. What ice, was that? Ice water, cup of ice water. Of course. Yeah, three bags of ice, my man. Yeah, let me get three bags. Anything else for you? That's it. Right up to the second one, I think you Oh, so it's uh, two bags for 150? Uh, yeah, yeah, did, did you want the, like, four bags total? Let me, let me do they, that. They're let on me, the deal. Yeah, let me do that, man. Okay, I got you. One second. All right. One second. Yeah, I saw that one fifty. Yeah, I saw that. I thought, like, okay. I got it. Um, Let me just pull around. Yeah, yeah. Just pull to the second window, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Normally I go to a place and they give me ice for like either 250 or 350 for one bag. Depends on if it's a seven pound or a 16 pound. I didn't know they had a special going on. Two bags for two bags for 150. That is that is fantastic. Super fantastic. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Twenty-seven. Yep. How are you? I'm fantastic, man. I know me. I'm my purpose. We made strong in the Savior's blood through the storm. Thank you. Is this good, or did you want a bigger one than this? Oh, that's fine, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. I could get you another one. No, you. this is great. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yep. 
Thank y'all. Got it? All right, man. And I got the one more. Okay. You're right. Three. See you, brother. I hope you have a good day. Okay, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Got it? Got it. Got my four bags. I'm less than a mile from my destination. Just thankful y'all was able to hope, roll with me for a little bit to get to know me a little bit more other than just by one one thing. Sometimes people can get a one-sided view of you. Um, I want people to have a well-rounded view of me. You know, I want to say something too before I leave. I want to say thank you to everybody that contributes to the channel. Anybody that's bought a shirt or a song or a project, thank y'all for doing that. You don't have to do that. You don't. So everybody who is a blessing to the channel with your time, I'm going to say I appreciate y'all. Appreciate you, appreciate you. One of these days, I believe, this is my hope, I believe that God's going to bless me with a nice RV or a nice travel van. And we'll be able to come hang out, do some Bible studies together, maybe go hiking with some of y'all, get something good to eat, fellowship, get a chance to hug your neck, meet you face to face yeah I really do hope this video has a I don't know open up your eyes to who I am as a person a little bit more of course this isn't this isn't all who I am um, I got real life going on as I say I got a lot of stuff I'm asking God about um, I got trials in my life the things that I'm that I'm working on overcoming just like you do. The one thing I'm not gonna do is quit. I'm not gonna feel sorry for myself. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the faith. I'm gonna keep looking under Jesus who's the author and the finisher of my faith. And there's a scripture, huh? Yep. This is me, y'all. Again, I'm pulling up to my spot. I'm trying to get here as soon as I can because, like I said, it's super hot. And I want to set up while it's at least 90 and not when it's 105. Yesterday we reached 116 out here in the desert. 116. Oh my goodness. That was a trip. So, I appreciate y'all. I hope to see you on the live one day. Remember, you can always send me an email. Reach out to me in the description of this video and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. Talk to y'all later. God bless you. Peace.